today I'm off to London to view some hotels to install voltage optimizers. Taxi! It was an early start, I think this was quarter to seven, twenty to seven train. Um, it filled up a lot more than this when we got to London. The good thing I enjoy as we travel to London is looking out of the window and seeing the change in the uh, scenery from countryside to obviously the bigger, taller buildings and the hustle and bustle of the city itself. And that's the uh, Emirates Stadium. I think the Arsenal play there, don't they? Even this, even queuing and lots of people. I just love it. I love the place. I wish I could afford to live here. But I'll just have to visit for work and for weekends. Anyway, I'm heading to Paddington to view two hotels. There we go. Uh, this clock outside of Paddington Station I think is absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, well it portrays a man stuck in the clock and I think it's every 30 or 40 seconds he updates the time and then takes it down again and redoes it. I think it's just a really really clever way, different way of showing the time. We're not far from the uh, first hotel now and again just how the the houses have changed and the leafy green areas of London. Now this caught my eye. Look at that registration. How much is that costing? Tart. And this is the first hotel, the Royal Lancaster. That's that one done. It wasn't uh, very conclusive, I'm afraid, because we couldn't open the uh, buzz bar chamber to see where I can connect the cables. So that one is just going to be uh, outline court to see if we can actually if we can actually get the job, and then we can turn the power off and access the buzz bar chamber to see exactly where the cables are going to go but we're on our way to the next one now which is in Marlborough Road and uh, it's a 20 minute walk away so off I go I have absolutely no idea what this was or what it was supposed to be it didn't look pretty good it was just on the side of a building I think it was the magistrate's court actually I'm not 100% sure but it was uh, quite unusual. Well, that's the, um, what was it called? The landmark. That's a big job. I'm going to need uh, quite a few people to come and look at that with me because they've got two transformers which feed two panels and I need to try and split the load on both of them to go into the voltage optimizer, which I can't see how I'm going to do.
so I need to speak to somebody who knows more about the um, specifics of it but it's now half 11 so you know what that means hubs are open trains not till um, half one so I might go and get a bite to eat when I say bite to eat I mean a pint <laughs> anyway I shall see you later little thumbs up see you in a bit So this pub and the next pub are all within a few streets of King's Cross Station. Now I know this one's a little, it's on a main road, a little bit uh, loud, but this street, unbelievable, so quiet. Wish I could afford to live in one of those. And a nice pint of uh, neck oil. To finish the to finish the afternoon off. Well, one more wouldn't hurt, would it? With the water rats. <laughs> so, did you know that Sir Nigel Gresley was the chief mechanical engineer on the Great Northern Railway and the London North Eastern Railway? But also, he was clearly a giant. Look at the queue for that. Good heavens. There we go, back at home. Hopefully the wife's here to pick me up and take me home. So, what a day I've had in London. See you in a bit.